Okay, for those of you who are wondering if you can put the 4th gen T-style steering setup on a 2nd gen, this is the 97, uh, front end, which has got the Y-style steering, the answer is not very easily at all. Uh, the reason you'd want to do this is to cut down on the death wobble factor. When you put something heavy duty like this on there, it pretty much wipes that out. Um, the problem is, there's a couple problems. First of all, this is too long, so you have to shorten it, at least the case on our uh, vehicle here, we'll have to shorten it about a half inch uh, on both sides, or, you know, so an inch total. There's two different ways of doing this. I've seen one person actually cut that and then uh, weld it, but if you don't have access to a welder like us, then the other option would be to cut the tie rod ends. Now, the problem with that is on this particular setup, uh, this is from a 98, uh, or 2000. 8 or 2009 to 2012 whatever it was um, this tie rod has an insert pressed into here which is a rod that fits into here that rod has a uh, fork on the end of it like this that allows it to slide into a pin that's on here and that's basically to keep everything aligned when you are doing a, an alignment so that the tie rods ends are both facing down in the right position uh, the most vehicles don't have that little part in there, so I assume that you can just cut it off. Um, I can't swear to that, um, but you, what I would do is recommend cutting uh, this outer tie rod part here uh, about three quarters of an inch, and this one about three um, three eighths of an inch or something like that. Uh, that's because this has a little bit more thread on it than this one does here. The next thing is this sleeve. Um, if you cut all that out, the sleeve is going to, you know, uh, keep it from threading in past this point right here. So you either have to cut the sleeve or probably to make it easier on you is to get a Dremel and just go around the outside edge of this sleeve on the, or the inside edge of the sleeve. And that should wipe out the threads and that'll allow it to actually slide over that. Next thing here is the, uh, Pitman arm link uh, is going to be too long as well. I didn't really mock it up like I did this uh, tie rod, so I'm not too sure, but I assume it's probably going to be about three quarters of an inch too long. So this one spins just fine, though, so you're not going to have to worry about cutting that inside part as well. So uh, next problem is your taper on the tie rod ends are going to be, and the Pitman arm as well, is going to be uh, a difference than what this is this i'm not too sure what the the taper size is but if you're going to make it taper to this setup here you're going to want one of these which is an expensive little sucker i think it's about 90 dollars and it is a gm one ton uh 1.5 7 degree taper if you get one of these don't get the snap-on version because the taper is just slightly different um, so anyways, after all this uh, exploration, we realized this is just going to be too much to want to deal with. So we're going to go with the 9899 uh, HD setup. The HD setup is also the T-style like this. And from what I hear, it bolts directly in. It's not going to be as beefy as that, but it cuts down on the death wobble as well. Um, there is one thing you'll have to work with, which is the, the dampener. I guess it's not going to sit in the exact same position, so there's some kind of universal mount that you can bolt on to make it actually fit proper. So anyways, I hope this helps some people not make the same mistakes we did by buying all the parts and realizing that it's not going to work. So um, I hope this helps and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.